In Port again at Wellington is the bark Palmier with another long voyage over. If there's something romantic about a sailing ship still, there's nothing romantic about the Palmier's cargo today. It's coal, coal from Canada. The first cargo of coal that's been brought to New Zealand since 1943. This 4,000 tons of coal being hauled out of the deep holds will be used by our railways, thus making more shipping space available for our West Coast colliers for other types of much needed coal. One advantage of living in the Southern Hemisphere is that China's National Day falls in summer instead of winter, and to celebrate the founding of the Republic by Sun Yat-sen, Wellington Chinese hold a picnic in Athletic Park. The handicapper gets to work putting competitors in their places, and parents get busy giving good advice. At the drop of a handkerchief, they're off. There's every kind of race you can think of for handsome prizes. While the potato race caused the greatest excitement, the Kuomintang youth team were winning the afternoon's football. A Chinese picnic is no Dutch treat, and tea, cakes and soft drinks are handed out in abundance. It's a great day for everyone. Now for the auctioneer's race. No one has handed any running shoes to the boys from the markets, so they stand on their own feet. Running round the track is a change from running up the bidding. It's as easy as falling on a dog. The auctioneers are on their way. Going, going, gone. Fantails hopping on the lawn are a permanent feature of Palmerston's Massey College, but other things change. One new feature is the training of 70 ex-servicemen who come daily from Linton Camp. The farmer has to be a universal handyman, and at Massey, the ex-corporal who wants to be a cocky learns everything from saw setting to adjusting the teeth of a horse. For other types of operation, the patient has to be made to lie down. A special rig of ropes and hobbles is used, as neither horse nor cow can be expected to lie down at word of command. A strong pull draws the legs together, and down comes Dobbin, half a ton of him. With the right tackle on the horse, the job is easily done. And of course, with the little scrub cow, the job is even easier. This may not be according to plan, but it's all in the farming life. Another glimpse of the five months course is in the Massey wool room where ex-servicemen learn the expert trade of wool classing. In 30 seconds, they recognize and class any sort of New Zealand or overseas pure or crossbred wool, then pass to the next sample. Marked up week by week by the instructors, their results show steady progress to the standards required in the international wool trade. This 17-year-old soprano, Miss Gwendolyn Minogue of Christchurch, was the winner of the New Zealand section of the recent Sun Aria contest. In Australia, Miss Minogue, with another New Zealander, competed against 127 competitors of all ages. Both New Zealanders reached the semi-finals. Miss Minogue sings for us now the aria, Dearest Name, from Rigoletto. <laughs> 